So, because we're talking about generating functions, so it's always x to the nth power, not x minus c to the nth power. So we're going to be working with this function. All right, and now, I mean, this is the expression for the coefficient. But I have in mind a particular function, a bizarre little one, and it'll eventually become clear why I want to study this function. My function is 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half power. In other words, 1 over the square root of 1 minus 4x. All right, let's take the derivative of that function. I'm even going to get myself a new piece of paper so I can see it clearly. All right, f of x is 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half. The first derivative, f prime of x, and I'm going to write it as the first derivative like that, is what? Minus 1 half, 1 minus 4x to the minus 3 halves times minus 4. I do that correctly? Everybody okay with that? Okay. Second derivative. You do it. Second derivative. You do it, and I'll do it up here. Minus 1 half times minus 3 halves times 1 minus 4x to the minus 5 halves times minus 4 squared. I'll do another one. This is, I'm having so much fun. I love calculus. I lie sometimes, too. <laughs> minus 1 half times minus 3 halves times minus 5 halves times 1 minus 4x to the minus 7 halves minus 4 cubed. I want to skip. Tell me what the, eh, for example, eighth derivative is. Just looking at the pattern, what would I do? Minus one half times minus three halves times minus five halves. Dot 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 dot. What would be the last term? Fifteen? Uh, how about negative fifteen? Yeah. Minus fifteen over two times one minus four x to the what power? How about negative? And times minus four to the what power? Eight. Okay. Are you, do you agree with that? I mean, that's, that's, you can see that that's what it's going to become. OK, now, I, that's a mess. That's a mess. OK, now, how many negative terms are right there? How many negative terms are there? What's the sign on this whole thing? Plus. Does it, that depend on the fact that 8 is even? Yes. No. Because if I did it for a, an odd value, I'd have a certain number of odd ones at the front and a certain number of odd ones at the back. And they cancel each other. So the whole thing is going to be positive. 
All right, now, I got in the numerator 1, 3, 5, up to 15. I don't like that. I want to see 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 up to 16. Now, what do I see in the denominator? 2, 2, 2, up to 2. I see 2 to the 8th. But I just multiplied by a bunch of stuff that wasn't there. I multiplied by 2, 4, 6, up to 16. Now, this is that. Agreed? Times 1 minus 4x to the minus 17 halves times 4 to the 8th. I no longer have negative terms. Okay, now, see that? I don't like that. I'm going to divide all those terms. Whoa, whoa, Dad, come on, Dad, come on. I did some. Oh, I see. I didn't say anything nasty on the tape, did I? I won't say anything either. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I, okay. I, I, if you just press it, it doesn't do anything. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Okay. See this 2, 4, 6, up to 16? Divide all those terms, divide the 2's out. And what's left is just the factorial, 1 times 2 times 3 up to 8. So this is now 1 times 2 times 3 up to 16 over 2 to the 8, 2 more 2 to the 8's, 2 to the 8's times 2 to the 8 is 4 to the 8th times 1 times 2 times up to 8, times 1 minus 4x to the minus 17 halves times 4 to the 8th. And then that 4 to the 8th cancels with that 4 to the 8th. And so what I have is 16 factorial over 8 factorial. 1 minus 4x to the minus 17 over 2. Okay. Evaluate that when x is 0. What do you get? Just say it in words, 16 factorial over 8 factorial. Agreed? Isn't that essentially a proof? What are, what are the coefficients in the generating functions? That's just the nth derivative. It's 2n factorial over n factorial. But the formula you used told me is I have to divide those by n factorial. So if you divide that by an 8 factorial, you have 16 factorial over 8 factorial, 8 factorial. What's that? It's the binomial coefficient. 16 choose 8. So, summary. f of x equals 1 minus 4x to the minus 1 half 
is the generating function for a n equals the binomial coefficient 2n choose n. And see, if I was teaching at UGA, I'd have to just wave hands and say, trust me on this. But you don't. I'm, I'm just using Taylor series. And we just did the derivation. Okay? 